Hello everybody, welcome to part two of our garden renovation project and you can see today we're going to be planting some seeds. We have some leeks, celery, strawberries, various herbs and some sunflowers. It's been raining here for about a week. We've been able to do no work in the garden. It's really frustrating. I am desperate to get some seeds in so we're going to give it a go today. I wouldn't normally be potting seeds on my kitchen table but it's been raining continuously and I really don't want to stand out in the rain so I'm just going to go ahead and do it here indoors. We have some different pots, we also have a small propagator that we're going to just put on the windowsill. I've also got some of these plastic containers that I got from the supermarket, they used to house um, yogurts and things like that and I just grabbed these from the supermarket I thought I could do my own makeshift propagators and see if that works so like everything else in this project it's all an experiment we do have limited space in the house we can't put too many in but we're going to give it a go and see what we manage to grow in these here we go With our seedlings safely tucked away indoors, we're back outdoors finally. It's been raining non-stop for a week, the ground is muddy and boggy but it has finally stopped and today we are determined to make some headway on this garden. We're going to be clearing out all these old pots and clearing up this path area. We're going to be planting some more vegetables in pots to put along that area. We're hopefully going to be digging over that bed although it is flooded and soggy so I'm not sure how successful we're going to be with that. We're hopefully going to get the raised bed installed and clear away all those branches that are lying around. We still have those young fruit bushes to get put in. I'm not sure if we're going to have time to dig over the area. We might just put those in some pots for now to keep them alive, keep them going until I have more time. I'm going to try and dig over this side bed again but like I said it is flooded so let's just get started with clearing this pathway.
I'd finished potting the seeds, the sun had come out and it seemed to have dried up that patch. So I decided to try and give it another dig over, but I wasn't very successful, it was just too wet. I did, however, get my raised bed down, one of them, and partially filled, as you can see there, before I went back to the potting area to try and get some of those seed potatoes into these bags. My original plan, and it still is my plan, is to put potatoes directly into the ground in that bed I'm trying to dig over. But it is so wet you would not believe the amount of rain we've had. So, I do have several sprouting potatoes and I do want to get some in. So I do have two of these sort of grow bags that have got holes in the bottom. I'm just rolling them down so that I can put some compost in there. I'm going to put the seed potatoes in and then as they grow I can put more compost in on top and hopefully we'll get some really nice potatoes out of these bags. I'm still going to put some potatoes in the garden in the ground direct but for now I think these bags are going to work great. Okay so I have some seed potato here, the charlottes. I have had them a little while. I don't I don't know much about potatoes. I do think you're supposed to put two in say a bag like this. Um, I guess we'll just put two in and see what happens. So I bought these young bushes a while ago and they've just been sitting waiting to go in. I'm going to have to put them in these pots because I haven't prepped where they're going to go yet. I need to dig this area. Um, they're going to go up here and I haven't digged it over yet. And I'm not going to have time to do so before I go away. And I don't want to leave them in those cartons for another two weeks. So I'm going to put them in these pots and then transplant them hopefully once I'm back. So I could only get two of them in because I ran out of compost. I thought I had more, but I haven't. I've put two in. This is the raspberry and this one's the gooseberry. I still have the black currant to plant. So I'm going to give these a good watering and going to be hope they're going to be okay in these pots for a couple of weeks. And then I'll transplant them to the fruit bush area when I've got it all dug over and prepared. Girls, we yeah. managed to get some plants in yesterday. They're behind you. I was just going to show them. Oh, cool. Have a look. We got all these in. We are going to have to move them to a sunnier spot though because it doesn't get very sunny here. Well, it does get sunny, but just not for a long time during the day. So we are going to move these around the back of the house it's where they're going to get sun all day. Hopefully, once they're established, I think I'm going to move them back here. I know they are going to need sun the whole time, but I think while they're seeds we do need to get them some more sun so I'm going to move them round the back and I have got some more compost now so we can get whoops Rosie's on her roller skates that was almost an accident wasn't it? <laughs> yeah. oh, I'm rolling backwards wait watch this bye bye so I'm going to get those other fruit bushes in now and that's those done um, I will just turn the camera around and show you I'm not being very successful you can see underfoot here how boggy and squelchy this ground still is. I'm gonna to have to wait. I'm just not gonna be able to get those potatoes and those onions that I was planning to in there anytime soon. I've got my first raised bed. This raised bed, I mentioned in our first video that I was going to be building the raised beds, but I seen this one and it was only 20 pounds and that was with the hinges, the brackets, the, the wood. And I thought that was quite a good price. It was actually cheaper than it would have cost me to buy the wood, well, at the place I was at. So I just thought I would buy that to get going. Um, so I just need to put some compost in the top and start getting some things planted in there. So it is taking shape. 
So I've decided to move all these seeds that we planted and potatoes we planted into the back garden and I'm also going to plant these other three bushes the black currant that we couldn't do because we ran out of compost I also bought another raspberry and I already had this blueberry but I didn't have the correct compost for it so we're going to put those three in now in these three pots just for now uh, they are going to go in the front garden eventually and then that is it for a little while because we are going to be going away I'm going to get someone to come and water these while we were away and I put them in this position because this is the sunniest place on our property so hopefully when we come back we'll have some really nice plants in here